Hello everybody, Sleepy Frau here. We had a request from our friend One Shot Messenger, hi Messenger, uh, for a little more information on the character creation in Elder Scrolls Online. So I am going to do a little video here. Well, little, I say that. Um, <laughs> usually it takes me, you know, a good hour of playing around with the character creator to come up with exactly what I want. Uh, so my husband laughs at me for that, but you know, he's had me design characters for him before because <laughs> he knows I will put a lot of care into it. Uh, anyway, it, it really is just, I guess, brings out the artist in me. And of course, that little element of fantasy. If I could look like anything in the world, you know, how, how would I look? Or of course, if I'm designing a male character, then, you know, what would my ideal man look like? And it's kind of fun to, to think about that. And interestingly enough, I frequently come up with a man that looks a lot like my husband. So I guess I picked well. So let's create a new character here and uh, just kind of show you what all of the options are as far as customizing your character. So I'm going to do a female. Males are fun, but I think females are even more fun. All right, so let's see. I will go for, I guess, the Daggerfall Covenant. Why not? Um, hmm. Or maybe not. Let's see. Let's play around a little bit. Breton, High Elf is kind of neat. Argonians are fun. I'm not going to do an Argonian or a Khajiit right now because they're a little too uh, <laughs> too far from a normal human. Hey, wood Elves are cool. What do I want to do? Red Guard. Yeah, let's go for a Breton. That'll be fun. Okay. So, you just get to pick your race and... Ooh, Imperial. Hang on. Nah, now we'll do a Breton. All right, class, we'll worry about that in a minute. All right, so start out with uh, the body tab over here. You can see it gives you options of muscular, large, thin, and kind of uh, everywhere in between. So, you know, if you wanted to go totally muscular, yeah, large, she's not that large, come on. It's not like a Lane Bryant model or anything. All right, and thin, no, way too thin. So, you know, I probably want to go somewhere in between. I want her to have some curves. Uh, about like that. I think that looks good. Okay. Height, of course, go taller or shorter. Um, she's not changing. There we go. Ah, I like her pretty tall. Here we go. Skin color, not a whole lot of variety here. You can go a little deeper or a little paler. I tend to like pale. <laughs> Maybe because I am pale. That's, that's nice right there. All right, body markings. Let's see what all of our options are. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to undress her like a Barbie doll here so that we can see what body markings they're talking about. So we're gonna go to no gear. Yep, mm-hmm, nice undies. Wow, that's a long torso she's got. Okay, so body markings. Let's see what we've got. What were those, just freckles? Yep, freckles, okay. Let's see, I don't know what that did. No. Oh, and you can zoom now. When I made my first character, I was very frustrated because I could not zoom in. And so when I started working on her face, I had no idea what she was gonna, gonna look like. I think she came out okay, but. All right, let's see. So what other body marking options do we have? Ooh, cool. Nifty like war paint type tattoos here. Interesting. Scars. Ooh, burns. Ooh, bad burns. Damn, woman, just like Freddy Krueger. All right. Okay, more scars. And I don't know what that did. Do, 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 do. So yeah, expect this to be a long video because I intend to actually play this character. And so she's got to be exactly how I want her. <laughs> All right. Nope, don't know what that did either. Keep thinking there'll be something. She's a little too muscular for my taste, actually. Let's go a little softer. Yeah, that's better. Okay, don't know what that did either. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, I dig that. I might stick with that. I'll come back to it. Yeah, like full body, like Maori tattoos. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Okay. That's neat. 
It's your basic, you know, body paint type of stuff. That's pretty. Hmm, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, I'll stick with that. Okay. Now, you can start really customizing the body. Okay, torso size. Let's see what, what that does. Yep, makes her shoulders broader. Go this way, and they're, they're narrower. So yeah, I think somewhere about there. She needs to be kind of balanced between the shoulders and the hips. Chest size. Yes, gentlemen, you can make her as busty as you want. Uh, <laughs> okay, actually, you know, that's not bad right there. Um, those are pretty natural. I mean, at least they're not, like, you know, plastic surgery looking. That's about right. Moderate. Because, again, my husband's been laughing at me because of my rather busty dark elf that I made, and she's just not that big. All right, gut size. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What happens? Yeah, she's looking a little a little plump. She just ate a big burrito, you know. Okay, or you can go really, really flat and look like a model. Yeah, I don't know. That's a little unnatural. Let's go right somewhere in the middle. That's good. Yeah. Waist size. You can go all Disney princess like that. Or chunky monkey. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go right about there. Yeah, that's good. Arm size. Make her more muscular or kind of thin and waifish on the arms. That's good. Hand size. Giant hands. <laughs> Beep -beep hands. Again, usually somewhere in the middle is, is uh, the most natural looking. Hip size. Broad hips are always nice. There we go. Posterior dimensions. That's a great way of saying butt size. All right, let's check this out. Oh yeah, baby got back. Okay. No, that's a little too big. But then you know you don't want totally flat butt either. So it's right about there. Give her some curves, but not too much. Leg size. Everything from thunder thighs to thigh gap. And that end. Ugh, that's just not. All right, so about there is nice. Yeah, that's normal. Okay, big feet, little feet. I have big feet, apparently. I didn't think I did until we moved to South Korea, where most shoe stores don't even carry my shoe size, even though it's like about the most common size for women in the States. <sighs> okay, so now we've got the body about customized. It's time to move on to the part that <laughs> really takes a long time, the face. So here we go. And now, yes, it lets you zoom in. I was having to do this on my last character from here, and it's really hard to tell what little tweaks you're making, uh, you know, what they're, what they're doing. So here, again, we've got one of these crazy triangles with everything from heroic, soft, to angular. Let me show you the extremes. That's heroic, yes, very hard lines. She's actually kind of pretty. Um, down here we've got soft. Come on, soft. Um, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Kind of girly. And angular. Hmm. Harsh. So, probably going to want to go somewhere in between. I kind of like the, the heroic, but soft. That's, yeah. That's kind of nice. Now, I'm going to kind of skip down and make big changes first, and then come back and tweak, because you see, there's a lot of options here. All right, so I'm gonna do hairstyle. Yeah, it's kind of big. We'll go ahead and do that. So let's see what our options are. Okay, yeah, we got Sinead O'Connor. Okay. All right, nice ponytail. My other character has that, so I'm not gonna go there. Okay, kind of short. That's cute. It's a cute little little bob. Okay, a bun mm -hmm, with bangs. Okay. Oh, that's that's a nifty little rope braid. Okay, longish hair. That's what she had before. Mohawk. Sure, you can always go for a mohawk. No, a shorter mohawk. Okay, shortcut. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, I like that. A little, a little too frilly for running around killing things, though. You know, that's pretty too. A little red carpet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nifty. Okay, that's 
It's got kind of a funky little headdress thingy. <laughs> Curls. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Yeah, that's not doing anything for me. Braids, cornrows. Ooh, I like that. I might stick with that. Let's see what else there is, though. Again, kind of curly. That's interesting. Mm -hmm, big bun. Pigtails! <laughs> no. Not for me. Again, a little too prom. Yeah. Alright, I liked the one with the long half up and half down. There we go. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Now, hair color. I love red hair. That's that's me. Um, so let's kind of go... Eh, it's a little too red. That's pretty close to my color, actually. My real color. But let's keep looking around and see what the options are. Kind of more of an ash brown. Dark brown. Yeah, lots of colors here. Blonde. Ugh, that does not suit her face at all. Yeah, let's go back to the auburn. I think that's a nice color. Okay. Now. Now that we've done that, again, I, I kind of want to work on big things and then come back and tweak little things. So, let's go to eye color and eye shape. Do we have an eye shape option? Not really. Now that's kind of interesting. We've got squint separation, angle, but not really uh, different, different shapes. So let's see. I'm going to just give her my coloring. So I've got brown eyes. No, that's darker than mine. Let's see, mine are kind of... No, not quite that bright. Yeah. Alright, I think that's about the closest we're going to get right there. Actually, if we're going to make her look like me, which is kind of humorous. Again, we're, we're doing what I would look like in a perfect world. But I need to go back and make her paler. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Maybe even lighter. <laughs> Quite pale. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, when I go shopping for makeup, mm -hmm, I just get the lightest shade they have. <sighs> Now, got that. <laughs> Age, yeah, again, I'm not going to be really honest on that because I'd be, you know, older. You can make her, you know, crusty all the way over here. <laughs> Oof, can rough that. Or, you know, young ish. There we go. Go about there. All right. All right. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Now I'll come back and start doing little things. Uh, you can choose a voice. Uh, and I have my volume turned down too low so you can't hear him very well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for voice A. We'll just leave that. Um, yeah, you can come back though and play with it. But all kinds of, of voices you can do. Hairstyle and hair color. We've got age. Okay, adornment. Now. This is just what you stick on your head. <laughs> okay, so you can do all kinds of little headbands. Mm -hmm. Okay, got jewelry. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I skip one? No, okay. That's kind of nifty. You know, her hairline is way too high. I may change this hairstyle, actually. That's cool. Interesting. Eye patch. <laughs> mm hmm. That's kind of cool. A lot of them involve things stuck on your forehead. Mm hmm. That's nice. A flower in your hair. Flower's kind of cool, but, you know, a, a bit... <laughs> a bit much for going out killing stuff. So, let's go... Just get some earrings. Yeah, we'll just 
just got some earrings. All right. But yeah, I'm going to change this hairstyle just because head on, it's a little weird. All right. No, I don't want to be bald. Mm -hmm. That's nice. There we go. We'll stick with that. Well, let me just flip through and see what the rest is. One more time, though. That's not bad either. I mean, she really kind of needs. Oh, yeah, that's my haircut. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. Forehead slope. Let's kind of play with that. It's hard to get her in a position where we can see what we're doing. Okay. You can either be, you know, protruding Cro Magnon or. Uh, Really goofy sloped forehead. Right, somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Cheekbone size. Gonna turn her where we can see them. And go really pronounced or kind of soft. So I'm gonna go right about there. Cheekbone height. Doo -doo. High cheekbones are supposed to be, you know, the thing, but I don't know. It doesn't always work for me. So we're gonna go about there. Jaw size. Now. You can either go nice, narrow, dainty jaw, or very uh, angular. Let's go about there. Chin size, pointy chin. Mm hmm, cute. Or big, manly chin. Not much difference on her, really. Uh, so we're gonna go kind of here. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if the difference is. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. No, not really. Yeah, whatever. Don't really see a big difference there. Okay, chin height, we're probably not going to see too much except from the side. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. Next size. We've got football player. Or, you know, head on a stick. Let's go about there. Usually somewhere in the middle is, is going to be nice. Only problem is... When you're designing a character like this, um, they're all going to kind of come out a little bit generic. Because if you go for the traditional pretty features, uh, there's just a certain look that you're expecting. And, uh, and you know, of course, in real life, beauty doesn't work like that. Usually it's those little oddities that make a person most charming to look at. So I try to remember that. Let's see. Eye size. Okay. Not much difference. In fact, I don't see much difference at all between... Well, okay, I can see the little eyes. Um, go about there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bigger. Yeah. Eye angle. We can really tilt them up or more down. So I'm going to go right about there. Okay, separation. Get more, more uh, wide set. More kind of narrow. I don't want to go too close together. About there. Yeah, that's pretty. I squint. Mm. Little squinty. Alright, that's nice. Eyebrows. Okay, now I'm picky about eyebrows. I really don't like these uh, that she's got right now because she looks permanently surprised. That's more normal. Okay, very arched. Darker, which is nice. I like that. That actually looks like, you know, a real person. Okay, no, we're not going for the cheese grater eyebrows. Those are heavier on the outside. That's not bad. Kind of surprised. Hmm. Boy brows. Whoa! That's harsh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Cartoon eyebrows. Those aren't bad. So, apparently, fashion-wise, the world has finally decided that little skinny eyebrows aren't the thing anymore. Which is, you know, nice for us, those of us who don't have little skinny eyebrows. Naturally. Alright, so I'm kind of between... Where was it? That one. And... It's right over here. Let's see... Those, oh, stop it. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the kind of thickish ones. Those are, those are kind of nice. 
Again, I'm trying to get away from the, the stereotypical beauty and go for more uh, natural here. Eyebrow height. Okay. That's good. Yeah, she's pretty. Okay. Eyebrow skew. <laughs> One eyebrow higher than the other. That's kind of interesting. Okay, go about there. Uh, eyebrow depth. Probably we aren't going to see until we turn to the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't want them too protruding. That's nice. Now, nose shape. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to have to click through all of these. Oh, button noses. Is there any difference in any of these? Okay, that one at least looks a little different. Kind of a little round nose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are very, very subtle differences here. Alright. Okay, I can yeah, I can see how it's just kind of tilting the the tip of the nose there. All right, so let's go. Not like that, I think. That's good. Now that nose to me looks it just looks a little too high. I want to bring it down a bit. Make it a little longer. Or maybe I just need to bring the mouth up. All right, let's see nose width. There's a little little de delicate nose versus, you know, more of a little broader. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Nose length. Oops. Very long nose or kind of smushed pug nose. No, I like I actually kind of like a longer nose. Uh I think it uh looks more real. All right. Now, mouth. Just the height. See, there she kind of looks monkeyish, um, and there she looks a little smooshed up, so somewhere in between, right about there, I think. Yeah, that's good. Mouth curve, we can make her <laughs> frowny. That's just goofy. So, how about there? Yeah. Kind of pouty there. I like that. Lip fullness. Okay, we got trout pout. And we've got little thin lips. Uh, about, about there. That looks natural. Okay. Ear size. Well, we can't even see her ears, so you know I'm just not really going to do much with that. Ear rotation. Not concerned about the ears because we can't see them. Ear tip flare. Nope. Don't care. Alrighty. So. There we go. We have a pretty attractive but not uh, cartoonish looking woman. Alright. We've got face we've got the body so I think we are done now it is time to uh, pick a class I usually do that last and then come up with a name yeah so you know it's very customizable but maybe not as much so as uh, some other games I've played because you're basically kind of locked into one particular nose and a particular shape of eyes and then you just tweak them but um, Still a lot of fun to play with. Let's see. What do I want to be? Dragon Knight. Mm-hmm. Hang on, let me come up and look at my race and determine uh, affinity with spellcraft, giving them bonuses to magic and spell resistance. Okay, so I probably, with those bonuses, want to go for something uh, involving magic. Uh, let's see. Eh, not really. Sorcerer. Could always enjoy a sorcerer. I like spell sword uh, type classes a lot of times, but uh, yeah, we'll just do sorceress. That works. All right, now a name, and that's the part that I'm really terrible at. I am just no good at coming up with uh, <laughs> with good names. Some people like to, you know, just do something silly. Um, what do I want to do? Cannot start with a space, ends with a letter, no more than two of the same letter in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. What does she look like? Hmm. Let's see. 
yeah, I really don't know. So I will come up with a name uh, on my own. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that, that shows you what you can do. It's, it's a lot of fun, but uh, maybe not as involved as some other character creators in other games. So anyway, hope you enjoy this. I uh, hope I don't put you to sleep or, you know, maybe you could use it for sleep purposes to knock you out. But uh, I will see you guys another time. Bye. All right, so one little thing I forgot to do here, uh, I'm gonna come back and do is, I skipped head marking, which was huge. This is how my husband, and he's never gonna leave me alone about this. He's, I have to do it. My husband got stuck with makeup on his male character because he didn't, uh, didn't find this, and apparently I skipped right over it as well. So um, head marking, we've got the option to do all kinds of things here. Uh, you know, she's very pretty with a, a plain face, and I went ch back and changed her eyebrows, by the way, and softened her face a little bit, because I decided I wasn't crazy about it. So we got, you know, the Braveheart kind of thing going right there. All kinds of makeup options. Some things are nicer than others. Woo! Kind of goth. Again, we got this kind of Maori thing going. Eh, that's a little much. That's kind of pretty. Again, a bit much, but pretty. Okay. Yeah, we've got... Woof! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's not really me. Okay, uh, but that actually, I think, is reuse makeup right there. So, uh, I kind of like something a little... She needs a little makeup because she's, she's pretty plain, but it's kind of soft. That's kind of nice. You know, just... Oh, where'd it go? Yeah, I think that works. All right, so... There's that. Just wanted to add that on there since I noticed I had missed it. 